My name is Thomas Hillman and I research how technology shapes the way we learn. This comes out of an interest in the design of technologies but also in their use. And I also have an interest in the systemic ways that uh, technologies are involved uh, in learning practices. More and more in recent years my research has involved um, studying internet-based practices and online platforms. So I work at the Department of Applied Information Technology at the University of Gothenburg in Sweden. I have a lot of collaboration with researchers here in Sweden and also in the Nordic region where uh, there's a lot of collaboration. Uh, I have some collaboration in Europe uh, and a little bit uh, more globally. What I bring to the RED project is a socio-technical perspective uh, on understanding um, both the technological aspects of technology use in schools, but also the social practices. What I expect to get out of the project from using that type of approach is, uh, is an unpacking of the complex kind of data infrastructures that we find today um, in schools through their use of different online platforms and digital technologies and a mapping of how the details of those infrastructures um, relate to different issues of equality and inequality. One of the reasons I think data has become a key issue in uh, discussion of educational policy in relation to uh, equality and inequality is that um, data is a powerful tool in decision making. One of the ways that we manage uh, schooling is through data. That we've always taken grades and attendance and other um, data features to try to understand um, the systemic practices to try to make these very complex practices um, understandable at a systemic level. It's now, of course, vital to know um, how data is produced, uh, who's producing it, who decides how it's produced, who owns it. All of these issues are very key now in understanding how um, different data practices shape decision making around equality and inequality. Many of the data infrastructures that we use are global. They don't follow the boundaries of the nation state necessarily. It means that global standards are forming, um, not necessarily by governmental actors, but by commercial enterprises and, and uh, technical organizations setting standards. These global standards are forming around data practices um, that are regulating local practices in local schools. Much of this infrastructure that's there is almost completely invisible to end users. And so I think one of the important ways to tackle uh, any issues that occur with equality and equality um, around these data practices uh, is to reveal these data infrastructures, both to end users and to policymakers, and to help make those kind of um, the complexity of those infrastructures meaningful.